when Natalie got sent up here one year after me for just riding in a car with a nigga with contraband, she told me to deal with Bullet. Now he has a bootleg tape business. He got all the rappers shook, be stealing their music and selling it on the streets before the record companies could. He's got a legit record store that he sells the tapes out of, and he's paid out the ass. The graveyard was located in Queens. When we pulled up, all I could see were the backs of about four men. As we came into closer range, I saw that three of the men were armed and wearing bulletproof vests. The two officers with me greeted the three officers with Santiago, my father, who I had not laid eyes on in eight years. As soon as he turned to greet me, the tears came gushing out of my eyes after so many years with no tears at all. I couldn't stop them from falling. Santiago gestured slightly like he wanted to hug me, but his hands were chained and so were mine. 